What's going on, guys? Time for the new Cooking with Lulu episode. Riot Taco Storm, probably the number one cosplayer uh, that works for League of Legends. Uh, he's definitely one of the more notable members of the community. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how to make the Taco Storm, best taco salad in a. I'm Lulu, best chef in a. So let's just get down to it. Uh, wait, first, look, look, I'm Taco Storm with his weird dark nipples. Yay! So we got our blue tortilla chips. Mmm. They're made with organic blue corn. They are delicious. You can pick these up at your grocery store. I recommend it. They're better than the yellow ones in my opinion. I'm a, an opinionated person. I've set up a nice little bowl here uh, with a combination of yellow and blue. Nice little aesthetic value to start off with, but we're going to clearly work that into something better. We got some shredded lettuce. I'm going to use a little shredded lettuce here. Shred us. Put that down as the base. And then I've got some onions. These are sweet Vidalia onions, which are pretty common down here in Georgia. Regular onions will be fine, some white onions. Um, I prefer Vidalia. They just cook up a little better when you cook them. They're a little sweeter in general. We got the onions in there. Heirloom tomatoes. I picked these up at the, at the uh, local farmer's market earlier today. These are organic heirloom tomatoes. And you see the color on them is fucking beautiful. I mean, the color is just beautiful on these. The oranges and the blues and the green. Uh, and these will just look really great in the actual taco salad. Uh, and so, I mean, you can't go wrong there. Uh, or alien tomatoes tend to be a little sweeter than your standard uh, grocery tomato. Uh, but that's because they're not covered in chemicals and they're not genetically engineered. And they retain that original sweetness that tomatoes used to have that you may not be accustomed to. So what you're going to do is you're probably going to see that it's a little sweeter. And you'll probably like it because it's tasty. Uh, I got a couple different colors of uh, bell pepper here, orange and yellow. And these are awesome because you cut them and they look awesome. Yeah. Nature, freaking ass. <laughs> I'm going to cut it up though. Uh, get a nice little dice going on that. Always be careful with a knife if you're not familiar. You get someone better than you to cut it. If you have a mandolin, you can use a mandolin, but I just prefer to do it the old fashioned way sometimes. I'm old like that. Bell peppers diced. Yes, please. Now I'm making a single portion for this, roughly, maybe one and a half. I'm a fat dude, so I'm gonna do a little bit more. But you, you can usually use this this many ingredients. You know, the three heirloom tomatoes, two bell peppers, shredded lettuce, uh, a half an onion. You can make food for about four people, so that's that's a good little amount. These here, I got some red and orange peppers. We're gonna dice those up nicely. We're just going to add to my little color medley there that we got going on. That's going to look good. This is going to be one crazy taco storm. Mm. And I know that the Riot staff loves tacos because I've asked all of them. Uh, so I know they're going to enjoy this. Uh, next up, we got some Monterey Cheddar and sorry, Monterey Jack and Mild Cheddar mixed. Um, cheddar and Jack, that's pretty much the go-to on the taco salad. You're free to use whatever you want, but that's that's pretty common. I mean, that's standard stuff. Uh, for me, I got an option tonight. You can do grilled chicken or you can do chorizo that I've seasoned myself uh, with my secret blend of herbs and spices. I'm doing the chorizo right here. Uh, it's just some ground up. Sausage meat uh, with some spices and seasoning on there. Create that on there. That's going to be my my protein. I'm not using beans on this one. A lot of people use black beans or kidney beans. Uh, the only reason I'm not using beans is because our customer base doesn't respond well that sort of thing. If you like beans, by all means, substitute them out of the recipe. I love beans. It's just I don't always get to cook for me, so that's the way it's going to go. So I'm going to grab a spoon. Just going to stir this up really nicely and you get all these awesome colors mixed together similar to what a storm yeah like a color storm like a riot taco color storm so we got that going that looks great pour that into my little tortilla bowl inside of a regular bowl that i created uh, those pre-made tortilla bowls i don't know what kind of quality is on those you know, I can see the quality on my tortilla chips. I know where I'm getting them from. 
Tortilla bowls generally are mass produced, manufactured in a factory. I'm not sure about how, that, how I feel about those, how good they are. But if you can find some nice ones, you know, good quality, by all means. So I got that. What I have here for a sauce is not Catalina dressing, which a lot of people use. I think Catalina dressing is gross ketchup sauce. I don't even like ketchup. This is an ancho ranch. Uh, I use ancho chili, uh, ranch, jalapenos. Uh, and this is really good, so I'm just going to kind of pour that on there. Alright, drizzle, drizzle it on top. And then once that is done, a little Cholula lime sauce, a little chili lime Cholula. That's secret, secret number two. Just a little bit of that. Boom. Boom. Boom, thunder. Pow, lightning. Kapaya! So that's my riot. This is the riot taco storm. I'm Lou Boo. Taco storm, I love, I hope you love this. I love you. You're a great guy. I didn't mean to insult your nipples.